property taxes all over Colorado have skyrocketed. It is such a big issue that state leaders have been working on solutions. But now some Aurora residents say they are seeing an even bigger increase than their neighbors. Well, we asked your investigator Brian Moss to figure out why this is happening. Well, Brian, the homeowners here are calling this, I understand, a hidden tax. Yeah, these are homeowners in the Blackstone neighborhood, the Blackstone Metro District of Aurora. They're saying that when they bought their homes years ago, they didn't realize those homes were in a metro district, which had promised to help pay for infrastructure improvements far from their homes. This little room here is the office. After 10 years, Kathy Morgan still loves her home and her Blackstone neighborhood in southeast Aurora. Hang on, Brian, but there's more. Blackstone is a metropolitan district a 20-year-old community of nearly a 1,000 homes, where Kathy and her neighbors just found something lurking beneath the surface. If you move into a metro district, buyer beware. Her background as a finance major helped her recognize something in the Blackstone Metro District's annual reports. Suddenly this year, Kathy and all her neighbors were paying an additional $380 in property taxes, funding something called the South Aurora Regional Improvement Authority, also known as SARIA. The authority funds and oversees infrastructure improvements like roads and bridges and intersections. I'm paying for something I didn't know I was into. Kathy and other neighbors say when they bought their homes, they were unaware the district had a long-term obligation to help pay for improvements across Southeast Aurora. For the past two years, the district paid about $52,000 a year to Saria, but now they're paying $353,000 this year a 571% increase. The onus is put on us to pay for the tax, right? To build the roads, to do the things, but there's nothing in return for us. It's just tax, tax, tax. A lot of the improvements the tax is paying for are up in this area here, nowhere near Kathy's home or the Blackstone Metro District, and that's the rub. So some of the improvements are a half hour away from here? Yes, yes. Certain residents, in neighborhoods are paying essentially a higher property tax rate than residents of other neighborhoods in Aurora for improvements outside their neighborhood that benefit all Aurorans, and that's what's unfair. Brian Matisse is an attorney and an expert on metro districts. If an individual is going to be paying higher property taxes than other individuals, it should be for improvements within their neighborhood, not for improvements outside their neighborhood. These agreements between Aurora and about two dozen metro districts were struck 20 years ago, and Blackstone is just the first where residents are facing additional property taxes. Matisse says more residents of Aurora metro districts will be facing these specific increased property taxes in the years ahead as the bills for these projects come due. You need to know that this exists, that these ARI authorities exist throughout Aurora. There's another bedroom in here. Kathy Morgan loves her house, but says she would never bought and have moved here if she knew her property taxes would rise higher than other parts of Aurora, just because she lived in a certain metro district. We're being taxed every time we turn around. Matisse and Morgan both say that if you're looking at buying a home, check to see if it's in a metro district, and if it is, ask your realtor or check yourself to see if that metro district has future financial obligations because these homeowners are saying this is quite a surprise that they didn't know was coming down the pike wow yeah who knew so so grateful that they're actually sharing it with us well also their that. their district was only a couple hundred houses when they moved in now it's bigger and right. so th this has just ballooned and caught them by surprise ah. wow thank you brian yeah, good information